Hello and welcome. We're here today at AFA's Airspace and Cyber Conference with Northrop Grumman's Jenna Paukstis. Thanks, Jenna, for taking some time today to briefly talk about air dominance and the key enablers for interoperability. Thank you. So, tell us about the layered approach to air dominance that's necessary to establish control of the air. Really requires laying a foundation of insight and interoperability across the battle space. And this really begins with a layered approach using modular building blocks that are built with open architectures that can empower warfighters with tailored mission solutions that are based on mission agnostic capabilities. Mm -hmm. So by integrating and leveraging these modular capabilities like SIGIN and non-kinetic effects, communications, networking and processing, multi-level security and cross-domain solutions, warfighters can gain access to that critical data they need mm -hmm. when they need it in a secure and adaptable way. SIGINT and non-kinetic effects both play a critical role, certainly left of launch, but even all the way through right of launch mm -hmm. to gain access to that precious resource of time, time to assess, decide, communicate, mm -hmm. and act. And of course, to communicate, we need resilient software-defined networks that enable us to exchange data freely and securely from the tactical edge to the operational command node. And these are necessary pieces to close the long-range kill chain, mm -hmm. gain information superiority, and really establish that air dominance by being able to route, translate, and forward higher quality data mm -hmm. from a wider array of sensors. Mm -hmm. So in, um, in order to process and make good use of this data, sometimes we need edge processing capabilities depending on the platform, but then we can also leverage compute power through off-board processing and off-board sensors as well as cloud infrastructures that also significantly reduce size, weight, and power. Mm -hmm. At the core of this layered approach is BMC2 which extends beyond the air and contributes to air and missile defense through ground and maritime based forces. and really enables warfighters, whether you're a pilot in the air, a soldier on the ground or a sailor at sea, to contribute to and receive benefit from that cohesive mm -hmm. operational picture. Mm -hmm. So by integrating domains and establishing these joint force operations through robust interoperability, using these building blocks, we can give warfighters extended operational reach, we can optimize engagements, and mm -hmm. give decision makers more time to act. Mm -hmm. Excellent, great overview of the, uh, of the enablers. So what does Northrop Grumman now bring to the table in that respect? Sure, well the first thing is trying to achieve the seamless integration of sensors and effectors across fourth, fifth, and sixth gen platforms to ensure mission success, and mm -hmm. that requires a focus on speed and scale. So you hear a lot of attention on being ready to fight tonight. Mm -hmm. So we're focused on upgrading existing systems with near-term technology enhancements that provide greater survivability, security, mm -hmm. precision, and resilience while increasing that interoperability for the future. Mm -hmm. So one thing we've been focused on at Northrop Grumman is making sure these fourth and fifth gen platforms can remain relevant in the fight by modernizing legacy systems mm -hmm. such as electronic warfare, communications, networking, targeting, and multifunction sensors. This also helps us burn down risk for the development of sixth gen capabilities and helps bridge that gap right. by providing solutions that can be ready now, but ensuring interoperability for the future. Mm -hmm. To maintain air dominance and also spectrum superiority, we're also developing systems that can operate effectively in a more congested and contested sure. electromagnetic spectrum than we've ever faced before. Mm -hmm. So by moving from prescriptive to adaptive electronic warfare and BMC2 capabilities combined with our LPI, LPD solutions, we can protect forces, ensure their freedom of maneuver, while also significantly degrading the adversary's ability to operate freely mm -hmm. in these contested spaces. Sure. As we move to this more distributed, heterogeneous forks mix at scale, affordable mass, here let's talk about, we're also focused on low swap mission systems, which are essential sure. to optimize operations across domains and really across manned and unmanned platforms. 
So given this backdrop and all these urgent mission needs, uh, Northrop Grumman has been investing heavily in a new product line called NG Insight. Mm -hmm. And this is Northrop Grumman's ecosystem of next generation connectivity, processing, and distributed effects to deliver information superiority across domains. Mm -hmm. It's built on our proven heritage of multi-mission, multi-function, SIGINT, and non-kinetic effects, connectivity and processing across many high-profile right. DOD programs, and gives us that capability that we need. It's really through a family of scalable solutions, mm -hmm. ranging from hardware to software that can work together or independently integrate with mm -hmm. third parties to give our customers that flexibility to tailor solutions based on mission needs. Right. It, the product line itself represents more than 20 years of investment and development by Northrop Grumman and is driven by five essential pillars. Open architecture, resilience, multifunctionality, adaptability, mm -hmm. and mission agility. And given our extensive experience with integrating, the solutions are designed to easily integrate with both existing and future platforms to create that powerful, mm -hmm. versatile ecosystem that can evolve with mission needs. Sure. At the heart of the ecosystem is the building blocks I spoke to earlier, mm -hmm. such as open system processors, multifunction apertures, and advanced skills or applications that can empower warfighters with those tailored mission mm -hmm. solutions based on mission agnostic capabilities. Gotcha. Very good, thank you. And this is? This is. This is an example of an right open here. system processor. And of course, right. we can't show the advanced skills and applications that mm -hmm. can reside on the hardware. Right. Well, Jenna, thank you so much for sharing your insights today. And thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.